as the former protest in France resumes. The farmers continue to dump garbage across the cities. And if the manure messes in the cities weren't bad enough, they're also using tractors to push flaming piles of garbage under bridges. But as the farmers press on towards Paris, it also appears they're getting a lot of support from the kids. Which is oddly similar to the Canadian trucker Freedom Convoy protests. The difference being, the French farmers have apparently been doing inventory checks of incoming truck drivers. Where if they find foreign foods, they quickly destroy them. And even foreign wines are being dumped into the sewers. But now, Paris police are apparently preventing them from getting into the capital. But it really appears French coppers don't have the best track record when it comes to stopping tractors. As cop cars aren't quite the best vehicles to use in farmland pursuits. Now, although those farmers were polite enough to assist these police, Paris has now deployed armored vehicles to stop the farmers. Which again, doesn't have the best record in stopping them either. But as the police lines get pressed, Eventually, the farmers get surrounded. As they've arrested over 40 farmers. Now, as I obviously don't speak French beyond what I learned from Dexter's lab, and Twitter translations always seem a bit spotty, we sometimes do have to use mainstream corporate media's coverage of the situation. So skeptically viewing France 24's story on the protests, they state how the interior minister had the police strategically at the city, believing they won't attack the coppers or enter the capital, as this isn't to protect the president, as he's apparently partying in Sweden. But for some reason, the mainstream reporting doesn't say much about the farmers holding the sign saying, roughly, more for farmers, less for migrants. Whereas we've covered on this channel extensively, the migration crisis is out of control, as this isn't the third world or the US border, but Paris, France. But interestingly, France 24 reports how other European farmers are joining the movement, as we've known German farmers have been protesting their regulations for weeks. <laughs> Dutch farmers have been protesting the Netherlands. And even Italian farmers are joining the fray. As reportedly, Poland, Belgium, and Romania are seeing the same. But at the end of this article, it's apparently over the European Union's New Green Deal. And what an insane coincidence that we're all encountering this at the same exact time. The Green New Deals in the US don't seem to impact the climate as much as they encourage communism, but maybe that's just me thinking too much through my tinfoil beanie, only available at decoyvoice.com. But American farmers are fighting our green agenda the same way European farmers are fighting their common agricultural policy. 
Americans are suddenly seeing a surge of migrants that are suspiciously being shipped around the country, and several European coasts are seeing ships drop off migrants seemingly non-stop. Now I do believe in coincidences, but how do all these allied countries somehow always have the same issues simultaneously? that all seem to result in gains for this new, blue, global, progressive movement. Meanwhile, countries led by certain chainsaw-wielding leaders suddenly stop having those same said issues. And again, I'm not gonna dig too far into this, I just wonder when the average American will wake up and suddenly say, it kinda seems like they're trying to starve us, but why would they do that? And once the masses start asking that, then my mission is accomplished. So if you appreciate my concise, lighthearted commentary on the tragic status of today's reality, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out the video about the most ominous statement said at our border, and how our administration basically ignored it.